everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and today I would like to talk to you about being frugal. This is one of the main topics of my YouTube channel and I just feel like I want to share it with people every day to help them be more frugal so that they can do the things that they want to do. I live frugally now. I always have and I plan to live frugally in retirement. I try to help people find ways to be more frugal and I kind of feel like it's a game or a challenge. I look forward to finding new ways to be frugal that I haven't even thought of. I don't see being frugal as a hassle. I see it as an asset or as a skill. It gives us advantages over those who do not have that skill. If it becomes a way of life for you, it becomes second nature. And I have been to all 50 states. I have six kids that I've put through college, all by being frugal. It doesn't stop me from doing anything. In fact, it helps me do the things that I want to do, like travel. And so being frugal is a really awesome thing. It's not being cheap. It's finding ways to cut costs on things that you don't need to be spending your hard earned money on. The more attention you give to something, the easier that it gets. And so that's kind of how frugal has become for me. I find it very easy. I find it just part of my daily routine and I just don't think anything about it because I know on the back end it's making a huge difference in what I'm going to be able to do or what I want to do in the future. And isn't that the way anything works? The more attention that you give to it, the easier it becomes your reality. Whether it's weight loss or saving money or getting out of debt, if you find something and put your attention towards that, it becomes something that you can do more easily because you're actually paying attention to the details surrounding what you want. For instance, if you wanted to move, if you wanted to move to another state and you knew that would make you happier and you just sat back and did nothing about it, would you end up moving? You wouldn't. But if you pushed into that thought and you said, hey, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start looking for a job. I'm going to start looking for a place to live. You can make that happen. All you have to do is do it. And that's the way being frugal is. If you push it to the side and say, I don't know how, I can't, I don't know how to go about it, then it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen and you're still going to be stuck in that rut of not knowing how to save and not knowing how to get out of the debt that you are in. So I encourage you to maybe watch a few of my videos or watch some other videos on YouTube on how to be frugal and see if it gets some of those creative juices going. Like I was saying, I'm used to living frugally. And so sometimes I really have to concentrate on what to share with you because it comes so naturally. But then I start thinking, there are ways I could be more frugal. There are ways I could make my money stretch even farther. And that gets my creative juices going and I come up with new ideas that I can share with you. And then it becomes so much easier. Those things just start appearing so easy when you're looking for them. So I hope this has been encouraging to you and I hope to see you in a future video and good luck on your fugal journey.